Well, time to do the second coating, and uh, I'm gonna be going around the whole edge and painting all that white yet now first, and then I'm gonna use the roller for the rest to cover up the rest of the ceiling. But uh, it looks good so far, it has definitely brightened up the room, it doesn't seem like the ceiling is just so much in your face. So I'm looking forward to finish the second coat and uh, then uh, start rolling. I don't know if I have enough paint left in the bucket there, because it's only a small bucket, but uh, we thought of going in and getting another one, because uh, we also got to do pause. You can see the different ceilings. This is the same ceiling as before. That's how it looked, and that's how it is now. But um, yeah, I better get... Uh, some music in my ears and get started. I'm not going to skate park today guys, so I'm sorry. It's basically only gonna be uh, a paint vlog. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's all right. It's gonna be looking nice when I'm done. All right guys, big fail. I charged the batteries last night. You saw that. I tried to fly them today. Hardly any battery on. I actually, this actually crashed on me and uh, broke. You probably can see in between the arm there. That broke and it actually snapped. It's not just like snapped off this is like a safety precaution but it actually has broke <laughs> uh, so that sucks it's really bad um yeah but it's still one piece thankfully but uh i managed to fix it well one thing which is known those batteries is that i spent like an hour on each battery charging them and there's nothing on today they can hardly keep the bloody thing flying so these here will probably be discarded and i'll get some new ones the thing really not that expensive, like a one year each, but it's just the fact of having to wait for them to be shipped. Painting the ceiling, you can see it's like very glary right now because the paint is wet. Um, second coat is using a lot because I'm using a roller basically. But I am a little bit worried because if you stand here, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a nicotine color. And I hope it's not going to be like that when it's completely dry. Um, worst case scenario, I'll have to give it one more layer on the other way. Uh, with some uh, other paint, but I'll probably buy just some white normal paint. Uh, as I mentioned, it is a dark color to cover. First coverage is basically only done with the brush strokes. Uh, I put the paint on with the roller and then I use brush strokes for the rest. So, uh, but it is brightening up the room definitely. But I hope that when it dries, it's getting more even coat. I mean, I remember when I painted in my office um, and I had this girl lived here before, had some butterflies and stuff on the wall, I don't know if you remember, but I gave that one coat and that disappeared completely, but I could still see it until it was like the day after and then suddenly it was just gone. So I hope the paint will dry up nicely. I'm using my nice Bluetooth headset, which is perfect for this sort of job because I don't have um, any wires hanging in front of me or from my phone, and my phone is in my pocket. I could just leave it somewhere if I want to. Signal is quite good, so yeah. All right, I better continue because uh, I got a lot more to do. But uh, Paul's coming home a little bit later with another bucket because um, if you look there, we're almost empty. So uh, second coat is like uh, taking quite a lot of paint, but it does say on the on the um, paint bucket that is only for 40 square meters, and I know from the floor is about 35. So if you have to do like two, so it just makes sense you haven't got enough. Whew. Only need the end down there, that little bit that you can see. And that second layer, and it's going to need a third layer, but the third layer, you can probably see some lines there. That's why I need a third layer, um, to even it out. The camera sees it better than we do with our eyes, but I want to have a, a final layer, just to make sure that it all looks nice and uh, perfect. Well, yeah, much better than that dark one. The room seems brighter and bigger. And I haven't even painted down here because this is like a grey colour on the wall where this is like white. You could probably see a difference. Um, or you can see it up there, definitely. <laughs> so that's going to be painted white as well. Um, I'm just right now playing a little bit with the thoughts of changing around the layout a bit. Maybe having the sofa there and the chair there. I don't know at all how it's going to look. Um, the f nice part about having the sofa in that corner there would be that you could sit like with your legs up and watch TV. Um, so that's something I got to think about. Uh, Paul bought some of the wooden floor home. He came home with some more paint, which I'm using there. And the wooden floor is out in the car. I have to carry that in. And, um, oh, we can go and have a look at it. Do you want to go and look? Come on then. It's in the back of the car. That's how the new floor looks like. 
looks very nice and Paul got 10 packs here we need 10 more but this is the laminate flooring um, it's gonna be putting down it's got eight years guarantee and it looks nice uh, not too white because now we're gonna have white walls and and all that uh, we can't have too much white in there um, we saw a nice white one with the same price like that but we thought it's gonna be too bright and um, we already changed the ceiling, which has lightened up the room extremely. I mean, before when we looked from here the whole way and we walked in, it looked like a dark cave. Now it's actually nice and bright. Uh, yeah, so that's really awesome. And I'm just gonna finish the last bit here. You can see I got to there. I need to finish all the rest down here and the corners and the edges. And then we're gonna buy some more filler to fill out all these holes soon. Do that later on tomorrow. And then uh, fill out those and I can paint the walls very soon. So I'm really busy about um, transforming the living room into looking some, some sort of habitable. And tonight I'm going to go on to Ikea's website. Uh, I'm going to measure up this room and measure up where the windows and doors are and everything like that. And then I'm going to try and uh, set up a kitchen layout for here. And uh, see how I can um, make this kitchen nicer. And I'll probably show the guy who owns the house the idea of what I come up with of how the kitchen would be nice and maybe if he likes it so much he might fingers crossed with a bit of luck go ahead and say well do it get it then i'll pay for it and uh, you have it installed and I'd, that would be so cool to get a nice new kitchen out there it needs it desperately um as far as i mentioned we're going to put another floor in here because that doesn't look too nice but a new kitchen out here would make this place it would be so good hello shelly smells a bit like fresh paint in here and paul's cooking um, but I'm just clearing away some of my RC stuff. I mean, I got my slash in here. You can see that um, I got the box for it there. I'm gonna put that in the box um, Because I will not be able to ride right now. I got a brand new body for it as well. This hasn't even been used It's really nice. Um, I Actually got this by mistake. I wrote to a company that I was buying um, a buddy for it and uh, They have written wrong on the advert and they sent me this one first so this is the one I paid for, and I wrote to them, um, excuse me, you advert, I actually ordered a 1 to 8 scale, and not a 1 to 16. Oh, they're so sorry, so they sent me this free of charge, uh, but they only charged me for that price, for the small one, but it did say that it was 1 to 8, uh, so that, that was their mistake, they put the wrong product for the wrong price, so they sent me this brand for free, and I got this for the normal price, and that was even an offer, so I really got them cheap. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this car down in the box because until I get a new AC, I can't ride it, which is kind of like sucks very much. But what can you do? So I'm just gonna put that back in in my uh, in my wardrobe. That's where I stood before. So I'm just putting that in here. There we go. Might as well go and get the remote as well. Hey guys, it's like. 2.30 at night and well sorry, three o'clock <laughs> and Nikki's been here I uh, just drove him home um, we were playing counter-strike and he was doing something feeling around with some stuff and then he by accident tipped a whole glass of lemonade over his computer and uh, he lifted it off uh, back home he was home alone um, and he lifted it up and like, poured all the stuff up and it suddenly shut off he's like panic 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 um, so I went over and picked him up because uh, Paul worked uh, with electronics like um, like computers and stuff like that. I mean, I can show you that he got four MacBooks he's been fixing out here. If you have a look, be quiet because he's asleep. Yeah, you can see there's four MacBooks. There's actually five, four of the white ones and then one of the old aluminium ones. And I love this light ceiling here. Yeah. Um, so um, we used some of Paul's tools and we took Nikki's computer completely apart. Come on, Sally. Um, yeah, so um, I, told, I told him not to turn it on when we was home as soon as he shut off. Don't try and turn it on, just leave it. Uh, he did that and um, then um, he came down here, took it apart, opened everything up. And we used some alcohol to wipe off everything, so make sure that there wasn't any more lemonade inside. Clean everything, put it back together again, and it booted up, and he was like so happy. 
because she thought like, oh crap, my computer is done, uh, and that's the only computer he has. Uh, so it's his laptop that he bought for his own um, money. So he was really, really happy that I could help him out, and I was happy that I was able to help him out. So yeah, uh, that's what we've been doing, and I didn't think of filming while he was here because we were just so busy, um, because he wanted to go back home again, uh, as it was so late. Uh, so yeah. And um, I have taken off the handles of my scooter, um, my ODI grips here, they're right here, yeah. I washed them and they're like brand new and I, I washed them with some we call Rense Benzene or like cleaning petrol or whatever. It's like really, really good at removing grease and all that. They're like very, very sticky in here that like, so that's good, uh, yeah. I'm just leaving here in the radius to dry it down a bit. So uh, that's awesome and epic. Anyways guys, I'm going to leave it here for today and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And again, apologizing for doing videos only about me painting and stuff at the moment. But trying to get this into a nice place and home is kind of priority for um, for us out of now. And we really want to have have things looking nice as soon as possible. Um, which is also the reason why I'm starting the flooring Monday or Tuesday. Um, and we also think about instead of taking the skirting boards off, we might just put the floor down with a little gap until the skirting board, and then buy another little cover uh, piece of wood, like wood. What do you call it? I don't know, like a little wood thing, a bit like what you got up there in the edge, and then put some of that down instead. So I think that's probably going to end up with that. <laughs> I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Um, take good care. As always, I love you and stay awesome and epic. See you guys. Peace. Like it would guys, I charged this battery here with my real charger around there and this is from my little MTPX. This works now, it actually flies, so it's it's this um the original charger with these USB USB charger.